what's happening. We're in Home Depot, trying to find something that fits this. So out of all the picks, I think this one's going to work. So I had to return one of them because it had a big chunk missing out of it. So I had to go back and finish that. Thank God I didn't leave the, uh, the parking lot. I checked before I left. And I also had to basically create a makeshift spool holder because when I get back, this motherfucker right here was not on those. Go ahead. Not on these. It was just up against my my regular spool holder now it should be fine that way uh, the weight is pretty much holding everything down it shouldn't tip over and it'll basically rotate once it starts pulling I've already pulled it a bit just to make sure so we should be fine <sighs> almost fucked up a damn print fucking around with that shit All right now that I got the wooden dolls I can start assembling the spear I've only got two more pieces to print I still need this one that's currently printing and one more piece and then I'm done. Then it's just time to uh, power sand um, the bottom pieces, the pieces that touch the base. So that way when I put them together, they'll uh, be more flow. And I'll put some super glue just to make sure it creates a hold, seal it with E6000 or uh, Gorilla Glue, seal the edges so that way it creates, um, it eliminates the sand. And then we will smooth it with the UV resin, cure it, um, give it time to basically solidify, clean it, and then start sanding it smooth. And just to make sure that all of these details make it through the smoothing process, I'm going to be taking a uh, pick tool and basically just, uh, you know, filing it through the line so that way I can clear away any excess stuff that gets in there and might fuck up the the overall feel because i want those <clears throat> details to show in the finished product 